Arts Centre in Port Leisha for your new exhibition, Key. Yes. Which is actually based on a local river. It is. It's based on um, the river bank, the river Nore, um, on the quay in Thomastown, where I happen to live. Um, it's a stretch of about 80 feet right outside the house that I live in. I've been making drawings and paintings about the River Nore since I moved to Thomastown in I think it was 1986. Um, intermittently, every so often I'd go back and do drawings and little paintings about the river. So about three years ago I decided to um, devote my attention to this particular stretch. How did you decide to only concern yourself with a particular stretch? I suppose I constantly look at it. Every single day I take walks. Um, every morning and sometimes in the evening. So I'm constantly looking at the river changing and the river bank changing, uh, the sky, the trees, nature basically, continually changing. So um, it was an attempt to somehow capture the changing seasons and also to capture um, things, we'll say, like mist, um, fog, snow, um, water constantly running, um, sort of ephemeral things that are quite difficult to capture. These works, they're, they're quite eerie, aren't they? Yeah. Um, yes, not I necessarily, suppose some of them are. Yes. They're not instantly beautiful. Yeah. No, no. They're, they're not like pretty paintings of, of nature or the landscape. It's, it's, for me, it's more about getting to the essence of what the reality of it is like now when I, when I see it, you know. I'm really excited how the exhibition, how it was created and how it works within the space. If you're looking at trees or from my viewpoint from the bank of the river, you're almost always looking up, you know, you're looking down at the river and reflections, but when you're looking at a tree, you're, you're looking higher. So I thought it was a way of also, you had to stand back and feel that you are actually part of it. And that piece, for example, that, that would be pretty much the eye level that yeah. I, I would be at when I'd be looking at it. It's quite intense. Yes, I suppose so. Like yes. you really are within nature. Yes, I do feel very part of nature. Um, I spend a lot of time within it, um, you know, throughout the seasons every day. And when I'm working then, making a drawing or a painting, I really feel like that I am really part of it. And like that I almost become it while I'm doing it. I feel, I feel really dwarfed by this piece, I have to say. I mean, do you feel dwarfed by nature yourself when you're... I, I certainly do, yes. And I suppose that's a big part of why I do what I do. Um, yes, I, I feel like a, a tiny little speck, you know, as they say. And especially in the face of everything changing all the time, you know, you can't control it. Um, and it controls us always. And that's fascinating. Yes, it is. And, and it's like my attempt to um, capture something um, intangible that we're just not in control of um, and never will be.